guys, we are here in St. Petersburg. Just got off the, well, I just got off the train, went and bought some groceries, checked in, and I'll um, show you the room real quick. The best deal I could find that had good reviews. Because sometimes you can get a cheaper accommodation, but you'll have roommates. And by roommates, I mean cockroaches, bed bugs. St. Petersburg, a little taste. So first things first, as soon as I got out of the train, I got bit by a mosquito. That was my first introduction to this city. And then when I got to my apartment, later that night I had the window open like I did in Moscow and a big mosquito got through, it was trying to suck my head trying to land on my bald head and suck my blood so real quick for those who don't know no one has told me this they have mosquitoes in in st petersburg in moscow that wasn't the case i left my window open pretty much all day so i didn't think there were any mosquitoes in russia i thought maybe during the winter time they would all freeze to death but it's not the case now when it comes to st petersburg as far as the vibe it feels a little San Francisco-ish. Let me explain. After getting bit by the mosquito, I got out of the metro. The first thing I saw was a vape store. And then I kept walking and I saw more and more vape stores. Just vape, 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 vape. So I'm guessing uh, they, nah, they smoke a lot of vape out here. And then in the metro station, I was trying to exchange currency and the person behind me was wearing rollerblades she had our rollerblades and uh, a skin tight outfit on pretty pretty tight brazilian style it was uh i, I didn't see that at all in, in moscow and then uh, i walked to this korean restaurant the vibe on the street was a little different i noticed a little bit more trash on the streets a little bit more people that mm, are experiencing hard times it was just uh just a little different just a little different so Left side, Dostonyak Vakskaya. Yeah, some trains are newer, some trains are older. But uh, I'll see you guys on the other side. Okay, so we just stepped out of the metro. We're gonna, we're gonna, you know what? We're gonna actually come back this way. So let me not even spoil it. Let me just show you some of the street vibes. It's pretty busy, pretty packed. Yeah, it's, uh, it's active. If I'm not mistaken, this is a very popular strip, very popular avenue because on this avenue, there's supposed to be a lot of historic buildings, monuments, and just beautiful architecture. So a lot of people walk this whole strip. I think this is where I'm at, because it makes sense. People taking pictures, ton of tourists. But where we're headed to, I think I can see the sign right now. I think I can see the front. I think this is it right here. If you see the purple sign, then that's where we're headed to. So to find the entrance. Kind of hidden. Maybe it's exclusive. Uh, all right, Ben. Go to Jen. Guys, give me a second. Let me figure this out. 
Here goes the vibe in this room. I think they have different areas. I love this stuff right here. Uh, the first one I had in when I was in Moscow was my favorite. It was like orange. I don't know what kind it was, but here we go. Don't don't judge me guys. Don't don't judge me. The main dish has come. This is stroganoff right here. With potatoes, pickles, uh look like that's a cherry. And stroganoff, I believe, is from Russia. Ooh, guys. Oh, man. Oh, let me talk about the food before I forget. Yeah, the food was uh, food was fire. I think that's my first time having stroganoff before. Normal. I've seen it. I've seen it before. I never ordered it. At least uh, I don't remember having ordered it because uh, it looked like slop. You know, like something they serve in prison. So I never really got it, but definitely delicious. That was probably my so far my my best meal here in in russia the stroganoff and then the potatoes were fried oh man then that whatever sauce they have was a uh, man fire and then you already know the bread with the uh paste was uh i always get that delicious oh am i gonna catch this light since i got 20 something seconds yeah i got 20 seconds i'll catch it i have seven seconds oh I want to walk over here real quick to show you this building. It's named the Kassan Cathedral. The reason why I want to show this because one, it's it's lovely, it's beautiful, and it's close, but also Kazan. I've heard of this region. I believe it's well, it's part of Russia. But uh, hold on, let me let me get through all of this. Look at this. Yeah, Kazan. I believe. Don't quote me on this. I think it's the third largest city in Russia. But I think it's more in the interior. And I've heard of this city a lot. Kassan, Kassan, Kassan. I want to visit it, but uh, I'm not going to be able to on this trip. But you're going to hear this name a lot. And see this name a lot. Kassan, Kassan, Kassan. Or Kazan. And I believe you can go inside as well. And it goes all the way around all the way around yep yeah, but just wanted to show the vibe let me go around this way we can we can go inside but i'm gonna stick to the stick to the outside this whole area has a ton of i mean just a ton of stuff i looked online just every every corner you turn there's a building cathedral monument statue fortress palace however most of you guys if you're new to the channel, you may or may not know that uh, that's not really my interest. Uh, palaces and cathedrals and uh, architecture is not really my... Uh, okay, I'm going to catch this light. It's not really my, my thing, but I, I will show it for some of you guys watching. We got 10 seconds left. I'll catch this light. <sighs>
All right, let me go show you guys something else. If they're in Russia, they like everything big, even their entrances. It's pretty much the opposite of Japan. Japan, like, uh, a lot of things are small. They have a lot of people in a small area. So it's all about efficiency, trying to take advantage of as much space as you can. But here's a little different. Everything's grand. Or I think the bourgeois word is grandiose. <clears throat> okay, no, I've seen this. I've seen pictures of this. It's the Winter Palace. I was not planning to come here today. But here we go. I was trying to get a full panorama, but it looked like there's a stage in the middle. They might have a festival maybe later at night. They have this. The palace goes all the way. And then we got these buildings too. Two guys posted right there getting a tan. Look like we have a TikTok videos right there on the right. Those group. That group right there trying to get a TikTok video. Like I said, uh, the inside is supposed to be pretty, pretty crazy, pretty cool. So my plan is to come back. Uh, I was not planning to come here so far already, but since we're in the area, it worked out. And then right on top. Horses on top. So yeah, St. Petersburg, man, it's been a, it's been a vibe here. It's been a, it's been a vibe. Let me go ahead and, oh, I'll just say right now, Moscow may have the money. St. Petersburg has the hunt. Hopefully you guys can see, try to get in the shade away from the sun, but we're gonna see if we can get to the top. Uh, I don't see anyone at the top, but we're gonna try it out. And they got double-decker buses right there. Let me head this way. Yeah, the sun is probably gonna shine on the camera in a second. Uh, I'll go this way. Let me... <clears throat> the bus is right here. Ticket office right there. come to the top too many stairs <sighs> too, too many stairs <sighs> just look at the pictures online and go inside if you do come to the top make sure you don't have a perm make sure this is the last thing you do because you're gonna be sweating and you're gonna look a hot mess talk to the the women out there if you're a guy you might get a little musty you're gonna be sweaty. All right, so just make sure you eat before you do this. I think we're almost there. I think we should be at the top now. Maybe. Oh man, we got more stairs. More stairs, guys. We're almost there though. Trying to get a good pick, but it's difficult. Oh, I think we okay. I think we might be good. Oh, excuse me. Damn, here it goes right here, guys. This is the one. If you use the St. Petersburg, I don't know what river this is. But I'm sure it's an important one. Busy. 
everywhere. It's busy everywhere. I'm gonna head out. Excuse me. It's pretty. Yeah, all the good, all the spots are taken. No exit. Ah, shit. Damn, the exit was on the other side. I gotta walk around. Check this out. Okay, I think we're gonna end it right here. I went inside the cathedral. If you're into, you know, religious stuff, you'll enjoy it. Beautiful architecture, beautiful architecture. Yeah, lovely atmosphere. Again, there's a lot more to see in St. Petersburg. Definitely this whole area, I says, comes across as like a, a historical area. Let me pan back over here. Like a historical area. Way more to see, palaces, architecture, cathedrals, all that good stuff. Beautiful day out, beautiful day out. Vibe is lovely, but my camera's about to die. I think it's overheating, because it, it is pretty hot out here. But definitely St. Petersburg, so far my first impressions are, are uh, they're good ones. They're good ones. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll be looking out for more from St. Petersburg. And I'm going to catch you guys at the next one. Deuces.